am Ms. Rashmita Mullur, Assistant Professor in the Department of Anesthesia and Operation Theatre Technology at Yenapoya School of LRA Health Sciences. So today's class will be on system components of anesthesia machine. The main learning objective in this presentation or in this class will be, will be knowing about the anesthesia machine and what are the various types of anesthesia machine. Other than that, we will be looking into the system components of the anesthesia machine. Coming to the introduction, so now anesthesia delivery system, it mainly consists of anesthesia machine as well as the circuit. So combining the anesthesia machine and the breathing circuit which we have, we get anesthesia delivery system. So as you know, anesthesia is not just one particular gas. It's a mixture of gas that we give to the patient in order to promote a surgical procedure. So in this class, mainly, mainly we will be looking into the aspects or types or what an anesthesia machine is. So the main function of this anesthesia machine is to deliver the known concentration of gases, various gases that is the anesthetic mixture of gases to the patient as well as to remove the carbon dioxide that is exhaled by the patient. Since you know when the patient is anesthetized, the patient won't be breathing voluntarily. We have to provide the breaths, that means we have to give the inspirational breaths as well as promote the expiration. So the anesthesia machine, the, what it does is, it gives oxygen as mixed with the anesthetic gases to the patient and the patient's body produces carbon dioxide and it's the duty of or the function of the anesthesia machine to uh, remove the carbon dioxide produced by the patient's body. Now coming to anesthesia machine, so as I said, it is a device used or it's a machine used to administer the anesthetic mixture of gases in a known concentration to a patient who is planned to go a surgical procedure. So the first anesthesia machine was invented by Henry Edmund Gaskin Boyle in the year 1917. So the basic common mistake that usually students do is they replace the word invented with discovery. So the basic difference between the discovery and invention is discovery is to uh, find out something that is already present in the nature and show it to the world. Whereas invention is using the natural resources or natural materials that are present in the environment, you make up something, you innovate something and present to the world. So be very uh, careful, the anesthesia machine is not discovered, it was invented by Henry Edmund Gaskin Boyle in the year 1917 and this first anesthesia machine was called as Boyle's machine. Now when as the time has passed there have been many innovations in the anesthesia machine. So the modern anesthesia machine it not only delivers the anesthetic mixture of gases but it also helps us to monitor the vitals of the patient and it also helps us to promote a safe ventilation for the patient. So coming to the types of anesthesia machine. The first type is intermittent anesthesia machine. In intermittent anesthesia machine, the gas flow occurs in the machine or in the apparatus only during the inspiration. So the main point, note the main point, in intermittent anesthesia machine, the gas flow occurs only during the inspiration process of the patient. The common example of intermittent anesthesia machine is Mackinson's apparatus and Antonox apparatus. Mackinson's apparatus is no more used. It was used in the ancient period or ancient times. Whereas Antonox apparatus you can still see in the hospitals these days. So what Antonox basically is, Antonox is a mixture of oxygen and nitrous in equal proportion. Now this mixture acts as an analgesia and this is used during the labor pain in pregnant women. So you will see what it comes with. This Antonox apparatus mainly consists of Antonox gas cylinder, a tubing and a face mask. So whenever the pregnant patients who are about to deliver the fetus or baby, whenever they feel the pain, whenever they feel the labor, they willingly inhale this gas in order to have the analgesic effect. Second type of anesthesia machine we have is continuous flow anesthesia machine. So this is the modern anesthesia machine which you will find in most of the hospitals. So in continuous flow anesthesia machine as the name says the gas flow occurs during inspiration as well as during expiration. 
So note the point. In intermittent anesthesia machine, the gas flow was occurring only during the inspiration, whereas in continuous flow anesthesia machine, the gas flow occurs during inspiration as well as during expiration. Now you might be wondering why do we need a gas flow during expiration, right? So patient, the patient has to exhale the carbon dioxide out. Then why do we have to give in or give the gas supply during the expiration? So what happens is since the patient is anesthetized, patient's diaphragm will not be working. It will be relaxed. So we have to give the gases from the anesthesia machine to the patient in order to push out the carbon dioxide that is formed in patient's body. So the common example of continuous flow anesthesia machine is Boyle's machine, dragger, foragger, etc. Coming to the components of anesthesia machine. Now the anesthesia machine is made up of various parts and components. That means it has many tubings, valves, cylinder, etc. Now all these components are divided into three system. That means three pressure system based on the pressure of the gas inside these components. So the components of anesthesia machine is divided into three pressure system. They are high pressure system, intermediate pressure system and low pressure system. So first coming to high pressure system. High pressure system comprises of cylinders, yoke assembly and first pressure reducing valve. Now cylinders they act as the source of gas supply. Usually the anesthesia machines are connected to the central gas pipelines which act as the source of gas supply. When there is any malfunction in the central gas pipeline or the ma machine is not able to take up the gas that it requires in order to give it to the patient, these cylinders come in the role. That means the cylinders are attached to the anesthesia machine as a form of backup. Now when we talk about the gas cylinders, these gas cylinders are made up of molybdenum steel. Why molybdenum steel? Because molybdenum steel is an alloy. As you know, alloy is a mixture of metal. So there are two benefits to use molybdenum steel in order to make these gas cylinders. First reason is it will not react with any type of gases or any kind of gases. Second, the molybdenum steel makes the cylinder lightweight. Therefore, it is easy for us to carry around the cylinder. Now, the quantity of the gas that is present in the cylinder is estimated using a pressure gauge that is fit on the cylinder. Coming to the second component of high pressure system that is yoke assembly. Now, yoke assembly is the part of the anesthesia machine that connects the gas cylinder to the anesthesia machine. So, it acts as a bridge between the gas cylinder and the anesthesia machine. The yoke assembly has a bodox seal. Now this bodox seal's function is to prevent any kind of leakage of the gas when the gases are flowing from the gas cylinder to the anesthesia machine. The third component of high pressure system is first pressure reducing valve. Now as you know the cylinders act as a source of gas supply and in these cylinders the gases are in very high pressure. We can't give that high pressure to a patient. So when the gases goes from the cylinder to the, to the anesthesia machine the pressure of these gases are reduced at the first pressure reducing valve. So usually the cylinders will be having a pressure more than 500 psi to 2000 psi which is reduced to 50 to 60 psi by the first pressure reducing valve. Coming to intermediate pressure system. Now intermediate pressure system consists of four components oxygen flush, second pressure reducing valve, oxygen failure alarm and fail safe valve. Now oxygen flush is, uh, is used during the emergencies where the anesthesia machine is not deliver, uh, able to deliver the gas or the patient is not able to receive oxygen. So the function of oxygen flush is when you push this oxygen flush button, the machine gives out pure oxygen that is not contaminated with any other gases. That means it the machine delivers 100% pure oxygen at a high pressure to the patient. So the oxygen flush is mainly used during emergency situations. 
now you can find in some books the oxygen flush being a part of high pressure system so based on the advancement of the machine usually the manufacturers divide the anesthesia machine in only into two pressure system high pressure system and low pressure system so when in these machines the oxygen flush will come under high pressure system whereas in the basic machines such as boils machine the oxygen flush is considered in high pressure system rather than in intermediate pressure system coming to the second component of intermediate pressure system second pressure reducing valve now it has the same function as the first pressure reducing valve which we saw in the high pressure system the second pressure reducing valve will further reduce the pressure of the gases to around 15 to 35 psi the third component of intermediate pressure system is oxygen failure alarm now the oxygen failure alarm's function is it will start beeping or it will indicate when the oxygen pressure in the machine will fall below a pressure that is set that means when the pressure of the oxygen inside the machine falls below a preset pressure the machine will start alarming fourth component of intermediate pressure system is fail safe valve now what is fail safe valve in cases of decreased ox oxygen pressure this fail safe valve will either cut off the supply of other gases or it, it will reduce the pressure of the other gases inside the machine so that we don't administer a toxic mixture of gases that is having a lack of oxygen to the patient coming to low pressure system low pressure system mainly comprises of two components flow meter and vaporizer flow meter it controls and measures the flow of rate of gases that come out of the machine com common gas outlet now the flow meter is gas specific that means oxygen will have its own flow meter nitrous oxide will have its own flow meter medical air will have its own flow meter etc so flow meter are transparent tubes with markings these markings help us to know the measurement of the gas or that is flowing through the tubes the upper end of the bobbin will determine the flow meter now this bobbin will be floating in the flow meter tube and the upper end of the bobbin will determine the flow rate of that particular gas the flow meter has flow control knob for us to control the flow of the gases in the machine coming to the second component that is vaporizer vaporizer has an liquid anesthetic agent stored in it now the fun main function of the vaporizer is to convert this liquid anesthetic agent into vapor form vaporizers are generally made of copper because of its high heat specificity so because of the high heat specificity of the copper it easily converts the liquid anesthetic agent into vapor form which then gets mixed with the other gases and then delivered to the patient coming to the sequence of these components in the anesthesia machine first we have source of gas supply so as i said the source of gas supply can be the central pipelines or the gas cylinders second we have yoke assembly that connects this source of gas to the anesthesia machine third we have the pressure gauge to estimate the pressure of the gases that in the gas cylinder or in the central pipelines fourth we have pressure regulator that means the first pressure reducing valve and second pressure reducing valve fifth we have oxygen pressure failure safety devices sixth we have flow meter seventh we have oxygen ratio control devices this controls the ratio of the oxygen to the other gases and prevents the flow of hypoxic mixture of gas to the patient eighth we have vaporizers ninth common gas outlet and 10th breathing system through which the anesthetic mixture of gas will be reaching to the patient so as you can see in the image in high pressure system we have the source of gas the gas from the cylinder through the yoke assembly passes enters the anesthesia machine then we have 
pressure regulator which reduces the pressure of the gas after this point the gas enters the intermediate pressure system it has second pressure regulator then it goes to the fail safe it also has fail safe valve etc for the prevention of failure of the gases and other protocols then it slowly enters to the low pressure system that is the flow meter from flow meter the gas is entered to the vaporizer where it gets mixed with the anesthetic agent and then from the common gas outlet it comes to the breathing circuit and reaches the patient now coming to the summary of the class the anesthesia delivery system consists of anesthesia workstation that is the anesthesia machine and anesthetic breathing circuit there are two types of anesthesia machine intermittent and continuous flow machine in intermittent intermittent anesthesia machine the gas flow occurs only during the inspiration whereas in continuous flow anesthesia machine the gas flow occurs during inspiration as well as during expiration now coming to the system components of anesthesia machine the components of anesthesia machine are divided into three pressure system high pressure system intermediate pressure system and low pressure system these are my references thank you